Are you tired of that fast-paced Silicon Valley life? In less than an hour, you can be sitting, sipping a coffee in a picturesque coastal town or hiking the cliffs overlooking some of the biggest waves in America. It's time to take a trip to Half Moon Bay, a quaint holiday spot known by Californians for its mild climate, incredible outdoor recreation options, and a reputation for taking the fall very seriously. Keep watching to learn about the best things to do in Half Moon Bay. Half Moon Bay Coastside Trail as the name implies, this almost four-mile-long trail runs the length of the Half Moon Bay coastline. It's paved and set well away from car traffic, so it's perfect for those looking for a leisurely stroll, bike, or skate under the sun. If you didn't bring your own bicycles with you, you can rent them from one of the many vendors. The path is shaded by cypress trees and edged with wildflowers to one side and white sand and rolling surf to the other. The trail ends at the Ritz-Carlton Half Moon Bay, the perfect lunch spot. Pigeon Point Lighthouse do you love historic marine buildings? Then you'll definitely want to make a stop at the Pigeon Point Lighthouse, which has been designated a California Historical Landmark. This quaint mariner's guide light was built in 1871 and is still operational as a youth hostel, though of course the lights are now powered by reliable LEDs. Pigeon Point Light Station State Historic Park is also a popular tourist site for wildlife watching. Expect to get up close and personal with everything from sea lions and seals to pods of dolphins and whales. Before we tell you more about the best of Half Moon Bay, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Half Moon Bay State Beaches There are at least four main beaches in the Half Moon Bay coastal stretch. Surfers Beach, Dunes Beach, Venice Beach, and Francis Beach. Unlike other California beaches, these coves are best enjoyed for their abundant nature watching, camping, and hiking opportunities, or the chance to catch some waves with a board and a wetsuit. The wild Pacific waters are cold and prone to dangerous riptides. Just keep in mind, too, that the Half Moon Bay weather is notoriously temperamental. Even in the summer, it can be foggy, cold, and windy. Scenic Drives Near Half Moon Bay if the weather is misbehaving, why not bundle the family into the car and head out on a scenic drive? Stage Road Scenic Drive runs for about seven miles between San Gregorio and Pescadero. You'll wind through picturesque hobby farms, stands of eucalyptus, and the historic Mount Hope Cemetery. The 17-mile-long Tunnitus Creek Parisma Creek Scenic Drive is another great road trip near Half Moon Bay. The highlight is the chance to immerse yourself in old-growth redwood forests. Half Moon Bay Distillery did you know Half Moon Bay was a hub of activity during Prohibition? For rum runners, not passionate prohibitionists. The Half Moon Bay Distillery was founded by Austrian native Uli Bissono and their husband Caesar to honor this dastardly heritage. This locally focused craft distillery creates a range of small batch spirits with clever names like Parisima Vodka and Harvard Avenue Gin. Visit and you'll get to sample them all after a tour of the distillery to learn about how they're made. Nature Preserves Near Half Moon Bay It's hardly surprising that the area around Half Moon Bay is home to some of the country's most beautiful nature preserves. If you're looking to see elephant seals, head to Año Nuevo State Park. It's a protected breeding ground for those incredible creatures, with seals in the thousands migrating there every year. Sighting spots are limited, so book in advance. Bean Hollow State Park is a little less crowded and a great place to see seals too. This time, it's sea lions. If you're more interested in underwater marine creatures, head to Fitzgerald Marine Reserve. You can peruse the rock pools looking at low tide looking for all the fish, starfish, anemone, and crabs that live there. Finally, we recommend heading to Parisima Creek Redwoods Open Space Preserve to walk among some of the tallest trees on the planet. Downtown Half Moon Bay After all that outdoor adventure, you're probably looking to feed your belly and empty your wallet of your holiday money. And there's no better to do it than the unique restaurants and boutiques in downtown Half Moon Bay. The historic downtown area spans about four blocks and is full of everything from fair trade craft shops to eclectic bookstores. The cuisine ranges from farm-to-table cafe fare to authentic Italian, with all eateries making the most of the fresh land and ocean produce found right on their doorstep. California Coastal Trail if you've already checked the Half Moon Bay Coastline Trail off your bucket list, it's time to tackle another oceanside challenge, the California Coastal Trail. This paved trail meanders through untouched coastal ecosystems replete with cypress trees, crystalline streams, bird-filled marshes, and meadows of wildflowers. Look to the other side to admire the wild waves and rocky shoreline of the Pacific. The trail first opened in 1999 and extends for 1,230 miles along the coast. It's open for human-powered traffic only. Pillar Point Harbor 
Though fishing was once a staple Californian career, the state has few working fishing harbors today. Thankfully, one of those left is close to Half Moon Bay. Pillar Point Harbor not only has an incredible array of local eateries serving the catch of the day, but the harbor is filled with all manner of colorful fishing boats. If you hop into a kayak or SUP and paddle the calm waters, keep an eye out for bat rays and harbor seals. It's also the starting point for whale watching tours, only available during migration season. Devil's Slide Trail The ominously named Devil's Slide Trail isn't for the faint-hearted, since it's carved into the steep sides of San Pedro Mountain. The trail runs along what was once a portion of Highway 1 that was closed due to one too many landslides. It makes for a unique hike or bike ride since the original road is still intact. Things to see include unrivaled coastal views and a wide array of ocean life, from pods of whales to peregrine falcons. Half Moon Bay Brewing Company if you're in Pillar Point Harbor, be sure to stop in at Half Moon Bay Brewing Company. This craft brewery was one of the first to open in the area. It opened in the early 2000s, and it boasts a continually changing, seasonally oriented list of house-brewed beers to sample. Try the Half Moon Bay IPA or Hefeweizen on tap, or grab any of their beers to go in a can or bottle. Best of all, you can sip your brew and chow down on everything from fish and chips to nachos on an outdoor patio overlooking the ocean. Lemos Farm If you're traveling with kids, pay a visit to Lemos Farm. The petting zoo is home to all your standard small farm animals – goats, pigs, rabbits, and sheep. You can tour the farm by train or hayride, slide down an enormous inflatable slide, or pretend you're digging the foundations for a new barn in the dig zone. Go there in fall for the pumpkins and haunted house, and in December for the Christmas trees. For older kids, we highly recommend joining a goat yoga class. Half Moon Bay Golf Courses Play around at one of Half Moon Bay's two world-leading golf courses. Both are located at the Ritz-Carlton Resort, and the older of the two was designed by none other than Arnold Palmer and Francis Duane. If you play on the newer course, designed in 1997 by Arthur Hills, on the weekends, you'll be serenaded by bagpipes. Both courses have hosted everything from US Open qualifiers to golf championships, so expect a quality game. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Half Moon Bay? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.